Yeah, Lauren was my neighbor. Um, we're just trying to find out where she is at this point. I mean, no one has seen her since Saturday. I mean, the last time anyone heard from her was an email that she sent out, and I mean, no one's heard from her since. Did you see her hang out with anyone at the time, anything like that? I mean, no, no, no one has seen her since Saturday. I haven't seen anything. I mean, you always hear noise outside, but it's just people walking by pretty much. And you, uh, she just recently graduated from Mercer. Yeah, she and I were we were both JD students. Um, we graduated back in May. What kind of person was she? I mean, how did you? What did you see? I mean, she's as nice as can be. I mean, very personable, very much a people person. Do you know anybody that any enemies she might have had? Somebody that might want to hurt her? No, I mean, we're we don't know where she is. I mean, the only thing we can think is that maybe she went out running and someone snatched her. Because I mean, we went at, we went over. One of her friends had a key. We went inside and tried to see if there was anything amiss. But I mean, she had a door jam that was sitting right by it. So there was no sign that anyone broke in. I mean, the door was locked when everyone got here. I mean, we we just don't know where she is. What about um in the like the parking lot area? I know they've been doing a lot of. I think that's where they have recovered the body or whatever they recovered from there. Body. Um, had you heard? Had you seen anything there? Had you seen anything there? Hi. I mean, we don't know if this is the same person. You know what I mean? Like they took out a body there earlier. We don't know if it's the same person or not. So that's how we're trying to ask people if they know who lived there. Are you okay, sir? I think I need to sit down. Okay. I just gotta ask you a few more questions. Okay. Uh, you came down earlier tonight, me and you talked, all right. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. That's just you are. What's wrong? You know I'm Detective Patterson, right? Yes. Do you remember, put your hands up here, you remember us talking yes. earlier tonight, right? Yes. You remember me earlier in the day? Yes. When we came down here and talked a little bit and then we left? Yes. Okay. I need to know about this girl right here. You know her? Yes. Who is that? Lauren Giddings. Does she live next door to you? Yes. When's the last time you seen her? Two or three weeks ago. Okay. Was you friends with Lauren? Yes. Look at me when you talk to me, son. Okay? Was you friends with her? Yes. Close friends? We were good I mean, y'all were friends, right? Both yes. of y'all were law students. You're studying to be an attorney, right? Yes. What kind of law do you want to go into? Criminal law? Yes. Civil? Is that what you want to do for a living? Yes. Okay. Are you almost finished? Yes. Okay. So you don't have too much more to do, right? No. All right. Are you going to stay here in Macon? I don't know. Did you used to work at the district attorney's office in Macon? Yes. Was you on the... Prosecutor side or the defense side? Prosecutor. So you were on our side. Yes. <laughs> right. You never worked on the other side? No. Did you like it when you were down there? Yes. Uh, got along with everybody? Yes. Okay. And you've lived next to Lauren for a long time? Yes. Okay. Do you know where she's at tonight? No. Hmm? No. Have you ever seen her with that dress on? No. You have no idea where she's at? No. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, my major didn't do that, but okay. All right, all right, come on. Look, just tell me what happened, brother. I don't know. Well, where's she at? I, I need you, know. I'm asking you for your help. I'm a detective, and I'm asking you for your help. Okay, I'm asking you for help. I need your help. Can you help me? I don't know. 
You don't know if you can help me? Yes. I need your help. Help me out. Tell me what to do. Has anybody asked you for help today? I need your help. I'm asking you as a friend for help. Can you help me? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You can't help a friend out? I don't know what you need. I need to know where Lauren's at. I don't know. When's the last time you seen her? Two or three weeks ago. Has anybody, have you ever seen anybody over her house the last couple nights? No. Okay. If you knew where she was, would you tell me? Yes. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Do you even care that no one can find her? Yes. I mean, I don't know, do you? Yes. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Did you think Lauren was your girlfriend? No. I mean, you said you didn't have any other cars, right? Right. Well, why would your, everybody you went to school with for the last three and four years said that you own another car other than that Geo Prism? Everybody I've talked to, all your friends you were in school with, people that you worked at the district attorney's office with said you have other cars other than that car. And you're going to sit here today and tell me you don't have another car? I don't. Well, where is it at? I don't have one. You never had another car besides that Geo Prism. No. So if I call your granddaddy, he's going to tell me that you only have one car. Yes. What's his phone number? I don't know. Yeah, you do, because I already have his number. You don't know his phone number? No. Hmm? seriously can't help us out. His number is in my cell phone. Where's the mess of start? Where's your cell phone? At the apartment. In your apartment? I mean, it's kind of late to be calling him. Does he stay up late? I don't know. Do you have a grandmother or is it just him? My grandmother passed away. A while back? Yes. But you're close to your grandfather, right? Yes. I mean, don't he own some property or something, he said? A couple of acres? My granddaddy or my grandfather. Who Did lives you? in Pike County? My granddaddy. Does he own any land down there? Yes. Okay. And do sometimes you go down there to visit him or something? Last time we met, I went down and visited with my aunt and uncle. Okay. What did he do for a living? Was he an attorney like you're... He worked for the Southern Railroad Company. Is anybody in your family an attorney? No. You're the only one that went through law school? Yes. Well, that's an accomplishment, don't you think? Yes. I mean, it took a long time, right? Yes. A lot of, a lot of studying. You, I think you told me earlier you were from up Atlanta or... <clears throat> Did you live in Atlanta or Griffin or something like that? Lilburn. You don't have any family left up there? Yes. Well, who lives up there? My parents. Okay. Any brothers or sisters? My sister lives in Tucker. Georgia? Yes. What's up with the pair of underwear that was in your apartment? That I don't was know. like a mask. It was cut out like a mask. Do you, you cut underwear out that look like a mask? No. How many guns did you have in your apartment? Three. What are they? Do you know what they are? A rifle. What kind of rifle did you have? An AK semi-automatic. Where'd you buy it from? Classic Arms. Is that Atlanta or something? Online. Okay. What kind of pistols do you own? EAA Witness. Full size and compact. Okay. 
What is that? What about the one that was on the bed? That's the full size. That's the full size one. Where's the? What was the other one? The compact. Where was that at? On the table by the bed. Oh, yeah. Remember I was in there. Mm-hmm. And then you had that samurai sword. Yes. That was just a. I mean, that's not. Ex is it an expensive sword or is it just a no. knockoff? It's just one of the knockoff swords. Yes. And what about the knife? Which knife? The big the one that was, remember you showed me it was dull? Yes. What kind of knife is that? Because I don't know. Kukri. Oh, where do you get something like that online? I bought it from a friend. Hmm. Did you have any other knives in the house? Yes. That I didn't see? Because you, you didn't show me no other knives. That's the only ones you showed me. What other knives did I miss? There's a pocket knife that's on the table. Are you a knife collector or a knife person? or? No. You just like knives? I used to collect swords. I mean, do you know your swords? Yes. I mean, to sell and trade swords? No. But you just bought here and there? Yes. But you wouldn't consider yourself like a sword expert? No. Okay. Because, you know, they have that TV show where they sell stuff, you know, at night yes. on TV. But I don't know what it's called, the knife shop or something like that. Have you ever seen what I'm talking about? I don't know if yes. you have cable TV or not. All right. Ooh, you know, tonight, we're still looking for Lauren. You know any of these other girls in this picture? I know that she goes to the law school, but okay. I can't remember her name. So she's studying to be an attorney, too? Yes. Okay. Is that how Lauren looked with the long hair the last time you seen her? Yes. Or she got, that's how she looks? Yes. Okay. Oh, this was in 2010. Who do you think took Lauren away? I don't know. Well, I need your help. Can you give me some, What what is your observation of this? I know you're smarter, okay? I know you have an observation you can tell me. What's What do you think happened to her? I think someone took her. You think, uh, I mean, you watch TV shows, right? Like yes. detective shows. What's your observation? How do you think somebody would take her? If somebody did take her. When she was running. Does she normally run all the time? She runs, I don't know how often. You mean you think somebody might have took her when she was running like down the street somewhere? Yes. You don't think somebody got her when she got back to her apartment? I don't know. Well, you know there was a body found in the trash can next to the apartments. Yes. You do know that. And it's a female, white female's body. Right there. Right next to y'all's apartment. Feet within from her apartment. We don't know 100% sure it's Lauren, but we're pretty confident it is. We're waiting for some tests to be done, to be 100% sure. I mean, who would, who would do something to somebody and throw them in a trash can? I don't know. I'm asking for your advice or your observation. Who in your complex would do something like that? You live over there for three years. That's, tonight's the first night I think I've ever been over there. In your expert opinion, of all your knowledge of going through law school and all that, who in that complex do I need to talk to? I don't know. 
no names come to mind. You can't help me out a little bit. Hmm. You can't help me out? I don't know. You don't know anybody? At all? That lives in that complex. You know, earlier you told me about a guy that lived in apartment 15. I mean, is he a decent guy? I think so. Don't y'all have a laundry room there or something? Yes. That everybody has access to the laundry room? Yes. Has anybody been working on the apartments below you in the last couple of weeks that you've noticed? I haven't seen anyone. But you don't. You don't know if they've been doing work on that apartment, number one? No. I mean, earlier today, me and you sit here and talk normal. What's going on with you now? Why are you acting like this? I need to know. Why all of a sudden you're acting like this? Hmm? I don't understand. Okay. Earlier today, we sat here and talked. But now you're acting like you don't know what's going on. Hmm? I mean, did something happen or something to you? I mean, why are you not, why are you shutting down? Why are you not talking to me? I don't know. You don't know? Are you scared? No. I mean, you're not scared, are you? No. Are you sad that something happened to Lauren? If that's her in that trash can? Yes. When's the last time you, you said you can't remember the last time earlier today that you took the trash out to the trash can? Right? Am I wrong? That's right. I mean, because you said you like stayed inside the whole the whole weekend, I think, because you had all your food and all that. You never went to Kroger over the weekend or Walmart or anything? I don't remember. But you could have. When you go to Kroger, when you do go to the store to get your food, do you use a credit card or you pay cash? Cash. Do you have a Kroger card? Yes. Okay. So the Kroger card should be able to tell if you were at Kroger this weekend, right? Yes. Do you swipe your card or just enter your cell phone number? They scan it. Well, because I ain't on my phone number because I can't never remember to bring my card. But you don't remember if you went over to Bay. You drive your car or do you walk over there? I drive. You ever go to Walmart on the East Town or Gray Highway? Or which Walmart do you go to when you go to Walmart? Gray Highway. You don't ever go out to Zeppelin Road? I don't think so. You never been out there? You know where Zeppelin Road, the new Walmart? No. You don't? So you just basically go to the long gray highway? Yes. Okay. Do you know where you're at tonight? Yes. Where are you at? Detective Bureau. Okay. And you know why we've been working all day trying to find Lauren, right? Yes. Because her family wants to know where she's at. Yes. And I don't know what to tell her family. So I'm asking you, what do I need to tell her family? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want me to tell them? I don't know. Huh? You're going to have to tell me what to tell her family. It's all on you, brother. What do you want me to tell her family? Huh? I don't know. Well, I need to know. I need to know. Okay. If something happened to Lauren and you know, you need to tell me. If you know something. Because I need to know. Because her family's down here wanting to know what happened to her. I don't know.
You don't know. No. That's what you want me to tell her mother and her father, is that you don't know. I don't know. Not that you're sorry that she's missing. Not that you've been trying to help me all day find her, but you just wanted me to tell her I don't know. I don't know. Are you a sorry is. piece of shit that you want me to tell her that? You got your ass on that fucking news and stood out there and gave a media report that her mother saw about her missing daughter. And you want me to sit there and tell them that you don't know. Is that what you want me to tell them? Because you're all over the news. You sure stood out there and ran your mouth to the news media. But now you're going to get out here and you don't fucking know. You know. You're just a sorry piece of shit that don't give a fuck. Right? No. Well, why'd you tell the media everything? Do you need to see what you told the media today? Yes. It was on the 11 o'clock news. Well, I'm asking you. Tell me. I want to know. I don't know where she is. That ain't what you told the media. You didn't stand in front of that camera and say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right? You buy all these weapons. Was you ever in the military? No. What do you need all these weapons for? Are you scared somebody's going to hurt you? No. What do you need all these weapons for? To have. Why? There's a reason why. Were you molested as a child? No. Then why do you need all these weapons? To have. Why? Give me one good reason. Just give me one reason. To have. Why? Does it make you feel important? No. Hmm? Are you a big guy because you got a weapon? No. Do you even know how to use it? Yes. I need you to tell me what you want me to tell her mother. And then I won't ask you another thing. I'm not going to tell her mother that you don't know. Because her mother saw you on the news tonight. And she cried all the way down to Macon. Because you had the balls to get on the news and tell everybody everything. You didn't have no problem talking to the news when they asked you questions. I'm asking you questions. Where's Lauren? I don't know. Yes, you do know. You do know. You do know. You know. You know. You do know. And everybody in Macon knows you knows because you got your sorry ass on the news and told everybody. So every friend you have in Macon knows that you know. Everybody you go to school with, every one of your professors, Everybody knows that you know because you got on the news tonight and told everybody that you know. Now, how do you think? Hmm? You think you're going to be able to walk down the street tomorrow and nobody bother you? Hmm? Think nobody's going to come over and knock on your door to see if you want to talk to the media again? I don't know. Oh, they're going to be over there, brother. So this little act that you're doing right now ain't working with me. Okay? Because you didn't have no problem talking to the media. No problem. So you need to snap out of it and tell me what the hell happened so we can move on. I don't know. Well, how many times are you going to say I don't know? Hmm? How many times are you going to say it? 
What are you going to say? I remember. But I don't want to remember what happened to her. Hmm? How many times are you going to say that? If you did something that you regret, you need to let me know. I didn't. Well, who did? I don't know. Well, a body was found over here, right next to where you live. And what do you have in your apartments? A lot of knives. A lot of guns. Right? Yes. And I'm asking you about it, and you're just saying, I don't know. That's all. That's the only answer you can give is, I don't know. It's six hours or a couple hours ago, you was out there telling the media everything. You didn't stand in front of that camera and say, I don't know. You were actually answering questions. Right? How many interviews did you give? Three? I don't know. Well, <laughs> you gave like three. Do you think that was a proper thing to do when a mother's looking for her child? They asked me what happened. And what did you tell them? What did you tell them? That Lauren was missing. Okay. What else did you tell them? That we had gone looking for her. Okay. And what? And that we hadn't found her. And what else did they ask you? I don't remember. Why don't you remember? I don't. You're telling me that you went through law school. Well, you went through college first, right? Did you graduate from college? Yes. And now you're in law school. Did you graduate from law school? Yes. But you don't fucking remember what they asked you this afternoon? No. Huh? I just don't fucking believe that shit. Don't stand back yet. What's up, buddy? Did you talk to him about his guns? Yeah. When was the last time you shot those guns? I haven't. You've never shot a gun? No. Have you ever shot any gun in your whole life? No. Never? No. So you bought three guns that you've never shot? Yes. Why? To have. <laughs> For what? To have. For what? I'm asking for what? Why do you want to have them? What makes, did they give you, I mean, tell me why it's important to you to have three guns. That's an easy question. Come on, talk to me, buddy. Me and you talked all day today. We ain't had a problem communicating. Why is it important for you to have three guns? Do you not know? No. Okay. Um, you got a girlfriend? No. Who's your best friend? Michael Quinn. Michael who? Quinn. Who is he? He was a law student with me. Is he, st does he still a law student? No, he graduated. When was the last time you talked to him? Before he moved up to Boston. How long ago was that? A few weeks. A few weeks, like a month, two months, two weeks, three weeks, what? The beginning of June. Beginning of June? Beginning of June. Okay. So, let me ask you a question. How? You say you don't know where Lauren is, right? Right. You said you told me earlier you and Lauren were friends, right? Yes. How, how would you describe y'all's relationship? She was my friend. She was your friend. Hmm. What... Did you ever do things for her? Did she ever do things for you? What did she ever do for you? We talked. We talked. What did y'all talk about? News. The news? Okay. Um, earlier you were telling me something about you fixed her computer before. I couldn't fix it. You couldn't fix it? What was wrong with it? I don't remember. How long ago was that? graduation. Well, how long ago was that? Middle of May. Middle of May? So you were over in her apartment in the middle of May? Yes. 
Have you been over there since then? Yes. When was the last time you were over there? Last night. Before last night. Have you ever been over there with Lauren since the time you worked on her computer in the middle of May? No. How many times have you been in her apartment with her hanging out? You don't know? If you had to guess, what would you, I mean, one time, two times, three times what? Maybe two. Maybe two? See, if I had only been somewhere twice, I could remember that. If I had been there over 50 times and you asked me how many times I've been, like, I don't know a lot. But the fact that you've only been there twice, when I say how many times you've been there, you say you don't know. That's just odd to me. Does that make sense to you? Yes. That does make sense? Well, so what I'm saying right now makes sense? No. When was the last time you saw Lauren? Two or three weeks ago. And you Have you been on vacation for the last couple of weeks? No. You've been home every night? Yes. Has she been at home every night? I don't know. Has she been on vacation? I think she was away for a while. How long? I don't know. Were you looking for her? No. Let me tell you, even if I didn't talk to my neighbors, I know if my neighbors have been in and out. I hear them come in, I hear them go out, I see them when they walk by my window. I've lived in apartments most of my life. So the fact that you haven't seen her in two or three weeks, that's just odd to me. I'm gonna be honest, it makes me feel like you're not being honest with me, Stephen. Why would you not be honest with me? I am being honest. Stephen, it just doesn't feel like it, buddy. You know, I get the sense that there's something weighing heavy on your heart right now. And it's breaking you down. And you feel bad about it. I can tell you haven't slept much, ha have you, in the last few days, have you? No. Like something's weighing on your mind, ain't it? We were looking for Lauren. You started looking for Lauren yesterday. Yes. But you haven't slept in several days, have you? Yes. You have? Yes. Earlier when I talked to you, you said you hadn't slept in days. That this morning was the first time you was able to get any sleep was this morning for a little bit. No. Yes, that's what you said. That's what you told me. So I asked you, well, if you haven't been able to sleep in several days, what have you been doing, studying? And you said, yeah, studying. You don't remember that? No. What I want you to do... And I'm going to ask you this question. I want you to describe to me how you feel right now. You don't know how to answer that with a yes or no, do you? I don't know what's going on. Lauren's missing. This, this pretty little girl right here. Your neighbor, she's missing. I know. You went looking for her last night. Yes. Did you hurt Lauren? No. Stephen, did you hurt Lauren? No. I know this is hard for you to tell it, but it's weighing on you right now, ain't it, Stephen? I didn't do it. But I know probably help me with who did. Can't you, buddy? I don't know. Stephen, you know. And I, me and you both know it's no different than when you was a little kid, right? And you reached in that cookie jar and you got caught after your mama told you not to get that cookie. And when she was, did you get a cookie? No. And whenever you tell a lie, you feel bad about it right then. One, with every lie, there's a chance you're going to get caught. And that weighs on you. Because you know you did something bad. 
Am I right? I didn't do it. You didn't take the cookie? No. What'd you do, buddy? I didn't do anything. What'd you do to Lauren? I didn't do anything. You saw Lauren last night, though? Yesterday? No. What time was it that she went out to do her laundry? I don't know. Where were you at yesterday? At home. What'd you do at home? Tell me everything you did yesterday. From the time you woke up to the time you went to sleep. I checked the news. At what time? I don't remember. Was it yesterday morning? I don't remember. What'd you do when you woke up? I think I checked the news. All right, you checked the news, okay. What'd you do after that? I watched some videos online. Did you clean up? No. You didn't? No. You smell like you've been cleaning up, like you've been using cleaner to clean up. I know what that smells like. My wife smells like that all the time when she cleans the house. You've been using some kind of cleaner to clean up your apartment, haven't you? No. Steven, you telling me you live it like a man? How does your apartment get clean? I clean it. Okay. When was the last time you cleaned it, Steven? I don't remember. Was it this week? No. You mean you go a whole week without cleaning? Yes. Why? That's horrible, Steve. Was it possibly over the weekend, last weekend? No. It wasn't? If you can't remember, then how is it that you can tell me that you didn't clean up your apartment last weekend? A minute ago, you couldn't remember. I don't remember cleaning last weekend. So you, it isn't that you didn't. It's that you just don't remember. Right? Help me out, buddy. Right? I don't understand. You don't understand? I don't know how else to say it, Stephen. Let me tell you what I think. I think that she was a friend of yours. Look at her right here. I think that she was a friend of yours. And I think something happened, Stephen. You used to watch her come in and out of her apartment, didn't you? No. I mean, then how were y'all friends? If y'all were... If me and you friends, we live next door to each other, every time I see, look at when I see, oh, that's my buddy going in. Because we're friends. I'm going to pay attention to when you come in and out. Didn't you just tell me that y'all were friends? Yes. But you, don't, you didn't pay attention to when she came in and out? No. Steven, you're lying. Now you're lying. You're just lying. That's a lie. You uh, you ever see her come in and out of her apartment? Yes. You did? When was the last time? I don't remember. You don't remember? Like last week maybe? I don't think so. You don't think so? Steven, you understand that everything that you're saying here doesn't make any sense at all. None. None. You totally contradict everything that relates to human behavior. We have skills to be able to observe things, to hear things, to see things. There are natural things out there that draw our attention every day. Such as when you're driving down the road and somebody hits the horn, you look around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just a natural reaction. If you're sitting in your living room, you hear the door slam next to you, you automatically think, my neighbor's home. Right? You're, you're telling me that those kind of things don't happen in your life. You asked if I watched. I didn't watch. 
have you noticed that she's came in and out of our house in the last week or two? I don't remember. What do you remember, Stephen? The last time I saw her was two or three weeks ago. Do where at? She was going out running when I was coming in. Where were you coming in from? Bar preparation. Bar preparation? What's a bar preparation? Oh, you're preparing for the bar exam? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, how y'all doing? We're just talking. He doesn't seem to remember a whole lot. Everything's yes or no, or I don't remember. A lot of things aren't making any sense. I gotta be honest with you, Stephen. Me personally, I don't feel like you're being honest. Okay. Well, Stephen, you said you're gonna help me out, right? With this investigation, because we needed your help. We're asking you for help, right? That's what we. Remember, I told you that. Yes. And you told me you're gonna help me. Yes. Right. You're gonna help me find Lauren, right? Yes. And ask for your opinion, your observation of what happened there to her. Yes. Right. And what did, what did you tell me? I thought someone snatched her. Right. Where do you think someone might have snatched her from? When she was. If you're the detective, if you're the police detective, it's your investigation. Where would you start your investigation? I don't know. Come on now. You watch TV, right? Yes. Okay. You made it through college, right? Yes. You made it just about through law school, right? Yes. So you should know where would you start your investigation? Where she was last seen. Okay. So in this case, where was she last seen? At Garen's house. Garen. That's the guy that lives up on the street, right? Friend of hers? Yes. Okay. All right, and that was on, I think she left there on Saturday morning. Yes. Am I right? Okay. Now, where do you think she went from their house? I don't know. All right, you're the detective now, right? It's your case. What would you do? Check at her home. Okay. We did that. We, you know, that's what we did today, right? Yes. So you saw us out there when we knocked on your door. She's not there. You know, I need your help in finding her. You know, what do we need to do? What do we need to do that we haven't done? I don't know. You don't know? So if you had this case, you wouldn't be able to solve it. Is that what you're saying? Because you're not smart enough to solve it? I don't know. Or you think you're smart enough to be a detective? I don't know. No? you got to be killing me, Steven. <laughs> you... Steven. So? Steven, listen to me. We're real people, and we're here to talk to you. We're trying. We're. I like to think that we're friends. Okay, friends communicate back and forth. The only thing you said is yes or no, and I don't know. Okay, it makes me feel like you're treating me like you don't like me, and I feel like I've looked out for you today. Everything you said you wanted, I've, I've given you. I've tried to give you food several times. You know, I feel like we talked. You told me about how you like to look at porn on the internet. Um, you expressed to me that you're a virgin, correct? Yes. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you tell friends. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yes. We, we, we need to know where your other car is at. I know you have. I already know you own another car, okay? I don't own another yes, car. Yes, you do. Look, do you use another car? You Who's have car you another use? car. It's not I your name. It's mine. No, you, oh, you don't, Steve. You've been using somebody else's car. No. Everyone I interviewed today say you have another car. These people aren't making this up. You have another vehicle. No, I don't. So 
So your grandfather's a liar. Is that what you're saying? You're calling your grandfather a liar. I just talked to him. And he said you own another car. I don't. So he's lied to me. Steven, we're telling way too many lies in here. <laughs> so I mean, you're telling me they're lying. You're willing to tell me that you're a virgin and that you, you told me you jack off the porn on the internet, but you don't want to admit to having another call. That makes me think you got something to hide, Steven. That concerns me. You tell me things that most people wouldn't tell somebody else, but yet you lie about something simple. Why are you about trying to hide that car? you have another car? What's the big deal? I don't have another I got three car. cars. You do. You do. No, I don't. It's not at your well, house. What happened to it? I've never had another car. That's the only car you ever had in making? Yes. Okay, let me go talk to him again, because that's not what he's saying. Stephen, what happened to Lauren? I don't yeah. know. You like her, don't you? She's my friend. Did you ever think about having sex with her? No. You never tried to talk to her on a dating level? No. Let me go talk. They got his grandfather. Let me go talk and make sure that he owns another car because he's telling us he doesn't. <laughs> So you telling me, you see that pretty girl right there? Yes. You telling me you looked at a pretty girl like that and you never once thought, ever, man, she looks good. You never thought that? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand? Did You know how when you're sitting there you see a girl walking down the road? And you say, man, that girl looks good. You ever see a good-looking girl where you think to yourself, man, that girl looks good? Yes. You never thought that about her? Yes. So you mean to tell me you look at porn on the Internet and get off to that, but you never looked at her and said, man, I wonder what it would be like to have sex with her? Yes. You have? No. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to have sex with Lauren? No. You've never imagined having sex with Lauren? No. Have you ever had sex with Lauren? No. What do you know about that body we found today? I don't know. You don't know? What if I told you that I believe that you do know? I don't. What if I told you that I could prove it? I don't know. You don't know? Is there a chance? But you do admit that there's a chance that I possibly have evidence to show that you do have something to do with that body, correct? I don't know. You don't know? Because if I hadn't done anything, I'd say, nope, there's no way. But you say you don't know. Why is that? Why do you say you don't know? Is there a chance that maybe something's there? No. Why did you say you don't know? Because I don't know. Because you're worried about something, maybe something that happened, that maybe something got mixed up with something, and you're worried about that? No. Then why do you say I don't know? Because I don't know. How would you not know? If I was asking you, did you just rob a bank? If you didn't, you'd say no, not I don't know, right? Right. So why do you say I don't know? Because I don't know. You don't know if you had anything to do with that body? I didn't. You didn't? No. Are you sure? Yes. What if I said I could prove that you did? I don't know. Could you explain it? I don't know. Today you told an investigator that you were worried about us possibly finding blood in your apartment, didn't you? I don't remember. 
You did. Now, why would you be worried about that? We all looked in Lauren's apartment. Did you see blood? No. Then what would make you think that, that there was blood taken over there? Nothing would make you think that unless you saw it. Because, see, I didn't see no blood. None of the other Lauren's friends saw blood, but I know now that blood was there. And now I believe you saw it. You saw that blood. You know that blood was there. And that's why you're worried about it. No. Did you know? Why do you have blood up in the inside of your nose? I don't know. You don't know? But you saw that blood. That's the only way that you would be worried about it. Because that's like saying, I'm worried about red roses being under my pillow, but yet I never put them there. That doesn't make any sense, you know. Um, your brain doesn't even think to operate like that unless you knew something was there. Does that make sense? That makes sense to you. You're a smart guy, right? I don't understand. You knew that there was blood in that apartment. No. Yes, you did, Stephen. Yes, you did. There's blood in your apartment, Stephen. That's right. There's blood in your apartment. Stephen, this is hard, buddy. I know this is hard. And I can tell it's only you want to let it go. There's blood in your apartment, Stephen. You didn't get it all up. It didn't all come off. You scrubbed and you wiped. But we can tell that. Don't you watch CSI? Yeah, we know it. Steven, why is there blood in your bathroom? I don't know. Yes, you do know. Why, Steven? I don't know. Has anybody else been in your bathroom? The police were in there. Other than the police? Who else has been in there? No one that I know. No one. And you recently cleaned your bathroom, didn't you? No. How long ago? I don't remember. A couple of days ago? No. Over the weekend? No. No, you don't know? I don't remember cleaning it. Do you use drugs? No. You ever use acid? No. Are you you're on medication? No. You're lying, Stephen. I wanted to give you an opportunity to tell it. I wanted to be here with you to go through that process because I know you're not a monster, man. I know you're not a bad guy. You're just a hard-working student trying to pass a bar exam, ain't you? You ain't got a lot of support from your family, do you? Yes. You do? A lot of people can't say that. And the fact that you do have support from your family should make the things easier. Because your family wants to feel like they've raised somebody that tells the truth and is honest, right? Yes. Did you hurt that girl, Stephen? No. Have you ever hurt anyone, Stephen? No. Never hurt anyone. No. I've hurt people, Stephen. I've made mistakes in my life. It's not even normal to say you've never hurt anybody. Sometimes people get mad and they say things they don't mean to say. It hurts. You never kicked a dog or a cat? No. You ever hurt your the kids that live up there with your parents? Hmm? You love those kids, don't you? Yes. Okay. 
And if something happened to one of those kids, you'd be upset, right? Yes. Well, something happened to this lady's child, Lauren. Okay? You love your all the kids up there with your mama, right? Yes. And you'd do anything for them, right? Yes. I mean, they called you and said, hey, we need you. Help us out. You'd help them out, right? Yes. We need you to help us out. Okay? Tell me about your family. I have four adopted siblings. That you love very much, right? Yes. Okay. What about your mama? She's a homemaker. Okay. What about your daddy? He's a painter. Close family? Y'all close? Yes. When was the last time you talked to him? When we got together. What was that? A few weeks ago. Did you go up there to see him or they come down to see you? We went to Buckner's. I like Buckner's. It's a chicken place where the, the table spins around. Yes. And you just drove up there and him? Yes. Bring all the kids with them? Yes. They didn't come back to make it? No. Well, they asked you how you was doing in school and everything? Yes. You, you had told uh, Detective Chapman that you'd never shot any of those guns that were in your apartment? Yes. Have you? No. Well, you never went to the shooting range here in Macon and did no. some shooting? Hmm? No. Any gun? No. You never, did you make the mistake and tell people at school that you used to go to the shooting range and shoot? No. You've never said that? No. Do you even know how to load? Yes. An SKS? Is that, that was an SKS, right? No. What was it? An AK. Same, well, same thing. Just different. You even know how to load it? Yes. What kind of rounds does it take? 76239. Okay. What's the capacity of that clip that you had? 30 rounds. What's it loaded? Well, is it loaded? The magazine mm -hmm. is full. Okay. You got a round in the chamber? No. Why not? Safer that way. Safer? It's just you in the apartment, right? Yes. Why do you think it's safer that way? No chance of it getting knocked over and going off. I mean, no one lives with you. It's just you. Bullets can travel distance. Well, how do you know that? I've read up about it. On what, the computer? Yes. Okay. What about your pistols? Hmm? You never fired any of those pistols? No. Were they loaded tonight? The magazine is full on the 10 millimeter. Okay. And there's one round in the chamber in the 9 millimeter and a full magazine. Was, was the 9 millimeter the full size one or the compact one? Compact. never even fired any of those weapons? No. Where do you buy your ammo? Have you ever purchased any ammo here in Macon? Yes. From where? A to Z guns. On Vimal, was that on Vimal Avenue? Yes. When was the last time you was at A to Z guns? Years ago. Do you have a, a permit? Yes. To carry what you do? Here in Bibb County? Yes. You applied when you was working down at the county or something? I applied last fall. Okay. So you have your card? Yes. Is it with you? Yes. Can I see it? They make they still make you take your fingerprint on there? Yes. Let me see your card. How much does it cost now? Do you remember? Around eighty dollars.
So it expires in 2016? Yes. Do you have any pictures of the kids? No. Hmm? No. They didn't give you no pictures when they were in school? Got a picture of your parents? No. You got no pictures? No. At all? Not no, even at your apartment? Wallet. You have some at your apartment? Some. Okay. What do the kids call you? Steven. Okay. So you're just their brother or uncle or? Brother. Brother Steven. None of them ever come visit you here in Macon? No. About this car, when you first moved to Macon, did you have another automobile? No. Never? No. When you moved to Macon, you brought that Geo Prism with you? Yes. You never left a car back there at your mother's? No. Why did you tell everybody at school that you had that other vehicle? I didn't. So everyone we talked to just made that story up? about you talking about your other vehicle? I don't have another vehicle. When's the last time you've been to Kroger in Bacon'sfield? I don't remember. Okay, because I asked you that. When's the last time you were at Walmart? I don't remember. Has it been a long time? Can you even give me that much? No. A week or so? Maybe. Do you even have a credit card? Yes. Which credit card do you use the most? Visa. Is it, just, is it a bank name or just a Visa? First Financial Bank. Is that here in Macon? No. First Financial. You got a bank account with them? No. Well, whose account? They just sent you a Visa. You don't have no bank account? I have a bank Where are you putting your money? In your house? Idea. You putting all your money in your house? I with all the food you got in there? I have an account with Wachovia. Here in Macon? Yes. Do you buy your uh, stuff at Walmart with this Visa card? No. Oh, how do you usually pay for stuff at Walmart? With cash. Do you have a job? No. Well, how do you get cash? Student loans. So you're just living off your student loans? Yes. So you hadn't worked like a job in a while? No. Are, are you planning on getting a job? Yes. I mean, because your loans are going to run out sooner or later, right? Yes. How long you got left to finish your school up? Are you finished completely? Yes. When are you planning on moving out of that apartment? Around I mean, July what's your lease up? Around well, July 15th. Where are you plan on uh, going when you move out? Back to my parents. And where is that at? Lilburn. Do you even know your mother's phone number? I know the home phone number. What's that? What's the area code up there? 770. Uh-huh. Three eight one uh -huh. five zero three one. What's your mother's name? Glenda. Has she ever had a drug problem? No. She's been home your whole entire life raising you. Mostly. Where was she when she was mostly raising you? Preschool. Oh, she a school teacher or something? Yes. Do you know how, I've already told you that there was a body discovered, right, in the yes. trash containers over there near your apartment. Do you know how that body got in the, that trash can? No. 
do you have any black trash bags in your apartment like uh that you use for trash no do you can you help me have, do you know where any black trash bags are in that apartment complex I don't have you know. ever seen any around has someone been over there cleaning up or have you ever seen anybody painting in an apartment have you seen any painters because you're home most of the day right yes have you seen any of that no do you know when the garbage man usually comes over there no do you know anything yes what do you know i asked you for help what do you know you haven't provided me with nothing i mean When's the last time you were in that laundry room at the apartments? Last night. What were you doing last night? Luke and I were looking for Lauren. Did y'all see anything unusual or out of place? No. Okay. There was one washer that had clothes in it. Whose clothes were they, do you know? Luke said they looked like a guy's clothes. But you didn't look in the machine? I didn't look in detail. What kind of knife did you have on you tonight? A little throwing knife. Where'd you have it? In your front pocket? Yes. Do you own any saws or anything like that? No. There's not anything in your car, is there? No. In the trunk or anything? No. When's the last time you've actually drove your car? Like went somewhere in your car? Uh, within the past few days. Alright, well, today's was well, now Friday, but yesterday was Thursday, that's when you met me. Yes. Have you drove driven your car this week at all? Yes. What day? I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, what do you remember about your car? I drove to Kroger. In Bacon'sville, across yes. the river. When when do you think that might have been? I don't remember. You don't remember. Why would you go to Kroger? To get something. What? Dinner. You got a lot of food in your house, right? Yes. What day do you think that might have been? Was it over the weekend? No. Was it Monday? I don't think so. Was it Tuesday? I don't think so. What day would you think it was if you had to pick a day? What day was you hungry on? Wednesday, maybe. Wednesday. You don't remember what you bought? Uh, dinner. Frozen dinner. Got like the frozen section. Microwave dinner? No. Oh, frozen dinner you cook in the oven? Yes. Okay. Did you go over there by yourself? Yes. Okay. Did you go anywhere else that night? No. That day, just over the Kroger, and then you came home. Yes. Did you go anywhere this week? Like, I don't know, shopping at the mall or looking at guns at A and Z, or did you go anywhere else? No. When was the last time you cleaned your car? I haven't since I got it back. Where'd you get it back from? My parents. How would they have it for? Their van was in a wreck. So, what they do, come get your car? Or? Yes. So they came to Macon and got your car and then left? The wreck was down here. Oh, in Macon? Yes. So they were staying with you when they were in the wreck? No. Well, what were they doing in Macon? The van was going to be worked on. Here in Macon? Yes. Well, where's the van at now? Do they got it back? It was totaled. 
So they were in Macon, and they get, they were in a wreck in Macon. My mom was. And she was down here in Macon because... The air conditioner was malfunctioning. Why was she in Macon, though? Because there's a place in Macon that's the best at air conditioning repair. And you told her about to come down to Macon to get her air conditioner fixed? No. Well, how do you know that? She told me. Oh. So she just drove to Macon to get her air conditioner fixed? Yes. She was in a wreck? Yes. Towed out her car, her van? Yes. So she came to your house to get your car? I drove her back. I was following. You, you drove her back to where? To my apartment. Where was the van? It was towed. Okay, because it's towed. She stay at your apartment to spend a night with you? No. She stayed just a few minutes and leave, or what? She stayed about an hour. When's the last time you talked to your mother, Glenda? I don't remember. Has it been a while? It's been a few days. Do you call her every day? No. You don't check on the kids? No. Hmm. Show me that scratch again that you showed me earlier. That Was it a... What did you say happened there? I think I scratched myself in my sleep. Huh. Are you going to be able to help me with this case or not? Because I, I need to know. tell the parents something, huh? I don't know. You don't know what? You don't, don't know what know happened to her? I can help. Why don't you know if you can help? Because I don't know if I know what you need. I need to know if you know where Lauren's at. I or don't. do you know who took Lauren? I don't. You told me that if you were working the cage, you would think somebody would take her when she was running. Why would you say that? When we looked in her apartment, there was no sign it was broken into. Okay, so you're figuring somebody might have took her while she was out running? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Did you see her go running this weekend at all? No. Well, that would help if you did. What time does she normally run? At night or daytime? Can you at least tell me that? I don't know. But did she like to run in the early morning or the late night? The last time I saw her was midday. Like noonish? Yes. Okay. She was going running when I was coming back from bar prep. Has that been a while? Two or three weeks. She speak to you? No. You just just saw her out running? I was in my car. Well, did you see her when you were like pulling in the parking lot or you just saw her running down the road? Was she outside her apartment getting ready to go run or was she already running at the time you saw her? Already running. Okay. She was by running by herself? Yes. She didn't have her dog with her, didn't she? No. Did you get along with everybody when you worked down with the district attorney's office? Yes. No problems? No. Did you like doing what you used to do down there or what? Yes. Who did you work for? I mean, who was your... Did you help out everybody or were you assigned to just a certain person? Mainly Jonathan Adams. How long did you work down there? The Working. spring semester. Do you, you enjoy doing that kind of work? Yes. So you should be able to help me, right? Yes. Because you're on our side, right? Yes. All right. What do you think I need to do? I don't know. There we go again with the I don't know. Come on now. You can give me some advice, right? You can't give me some advice. what I should do next? Hmm? Huh? 
You can't tell me what you think I should do next? I don't know. Well, we found a body outside the apartment, right? We know that, right? Yes. You saying you didn't hear or see anything the, like, the whole time you've been there over the weekend, right? Right. We've talked to you, right? Right. We've talked to most of all her friends. Is there anybody else we need to talk to that you might know that we didn't? I don't know. Let's talk about the apartment complex. Anybody in that complex? That we, what, anybody else we need to talk to? I don't know who you have talked to. Who lives below you? An older woman and her son. Were they home tonight or today? I don't know. You didn't see them? No. Do you ever see them? Yes. But you don't know if they were home today? No. She doesn't have a car. So it's really hard to tell if they're home? Yes. You ever talk to her? Yes. Does she work anywhere? I don't know. Hmm. Do you ever get tired of saying I don't know? Hmm. What else you got in your wallet there, brother? My bear card. What's that used for? To get into the building. What else you got? My bank card. My Kroger card. Is that the card you use at Kroger? Yes. I'm going to write down this number. Since you don't know the last time you were there, I'm, I'm assuming you used your card when you were there. Yes. Right. I always use my card. That's why I'm going to write down the number. You can remember that you always use your card, but you can't remember the last time you were there. I always use my card. Well, what if you didn't use them? What else you got in there? My borders card. Hmm. What's that Mercer? What's that? Mercer Law Cab Card. What's that? You use a free cab right home? Or that's just the phone numbers? Numbers for cab companies. Here in Macon. Oh, what's that card right there? GameStop. Okay. No phone numbers or anything? No. Okay, put your money back up in there. There's a hundred dollar bill up under there. What are you rolling with all that money you're fighting for? My granddaddy gave it to me. Do you take any medication? No. Have you ever taken any medication? No. Do you have any kind of mental problem? No. You know what's crazy? I was talking to people that he works with and everything. They talk about how he's yeah. always expresses himself. No, but he don't know. He's very talkative. Steve, they say you're so talkative, buddy, that you're always so friendly. You stop in and say hello, and you talk. What, why is it that you're acting so short with us tonight? If you, if you have all this character and personality about you, 
Why is it that everything that we get from you is yes, no, or I don't know? I don't know. <laughs> well, you sure we're talking to the media tonight, weren't you? They asked what happened. Yeah, that's what we're asking you. What happened? What'd you tell them? I told them you what didn't I knew. That you didn't know. Hmm? Do you drink at all? Do you drink beer? No. Well, at least I gotta know stuff I don't know. Steven. You know, we have to go to our best resources when we're trying to do anything. You know, it's kind of like the guy who wants to get his oil changed, he goes to Jiffy Lube. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for Lauren, and you said you were her friend. Aren't you her friend? Yes. Y'all good friends? Yes. How good of friends are y'all? Good friends. Like, how good of friends? I don't understand. You don't understand? You don't understand how good of friends y'all are? I don't understand what you're asking. How good of friends are y'all? We're friends. Are y'all close friends? Are y'all just acquaintances? Um, y'all study? I mean, what, how good of friends are y'all? We're friends. Are y'all really good friends? I don't know. You don't know? How do you not know if you're not a really good friend? Let me ask you this. Maybe you're saying that because you don't know how she feels about you. How do you feel about her? Do you consider her a really good friend? He's a friend. But not a really good friend? I don't know. You don't know? How do you not know? I don't know what you mean by really good. Are y'all really close? No. No, you're not? No. So y'all, you never told her any of your personal business? No. she ever tell you any of hers? No. You ever see her upset? No. She was always a happy person, wasn't she? Yes. Why are you acting like this, Stephen? You see how I'm able to talk in complete sentences? Like we're having a conversation, but the only thing you're bringing to the table is a yes, no, or I don't know. Why is that, Stephen? I don't understand. I don't understand. Know. Don't understand. What don't you understand? I want to be able to help you to, to be able to communicate with me better than that, Stephen. I feel like we can help each other. Stephen, did you hurt that girl? No. Do you know where she's at? No. Would you tell me if you did? Yes. Have you lied to me at all in this interview? No. Yes, you have, Stephen. You said you have. When you say you don't know when the last time you cleaned your bathroom is, that's a lie. When you say you don't know the last time you saw her coming in and out of her apartment and you don't notice whether or not she comes in and out, that's another lie. Your door is only a few feet from hers. You've told some lies in this interview, Stephen. Without a doubt. When was the last time you did laundry? A few weeks ago. You ain't washed clothes in a few weeks? Yeah. Why? I have a lot of clothes. No, you don't. That's another lie.
That's right. That's three lives, Stephen. You don't have a lot of clothes. Yes, I do. Nope. You got enough underwear to last you three weeks? Yes. Do you wear the same pair of underwear more than one day? Yes. Why? Because it's still clean enough to wear. Stephen, I appreciate you coming down here today and talking to us, okay? I appreciate you cooperating with us and and helping us along. But you've lied to me about at least three things in this interview. And people don't lie unless they got something to hide. Why would you lie to me, Stephen? I didn't lie. Sure you did. You said you don't even notice when she comes in and out of her apartment. That's a lie, Stephen. I said I didn't remember the last time. Have you ever watched her go in her apartment? No. You've never? How long have y'all been neighbors? Three years. Three years, and you've never watched her walk through her front door? Yes. Five seconds, I said, you ever watched her walk into an apartment? You said no. So I'm going to ask you again, have you ever watched her walk into her apartment? Yes. When was the last time? A long time ago. How long? Before graduation. It's been that long? And yes. you graduated when? In May. Beginning of May, end of May? The middle. And you hadn't seen her walk in her apartment since? No. Did you ever help her carry up groceries and stuff like that? No. Never? No. Did you ever help her carry her laundry? No. She's never needed your help with anything? She asked for help with the computer. You ever offer help with her for anything, carrying stuff for her, anything like that? Yes. Like what, Stephen? When she was moving out during the first summer. What did you do? She needed help moving stuff to her car. And you helped her? Yes. So you went in and out of her apartment moving stuff? Yes. How long did you help her? A few minutes. That's it? Yes. Do you realize how you're talking right now? Does it not feel weird to you? No. Would you say that this is how you talk all the time? I don't understand. You're just not expressing yourself at all. Everything's with you is yes, no, I don't remember, I don't understand. You can't help me out with anything. You, there's nothing you can tell me to help me about this beautiful girl right here, Stephen. That was your friend. Nothing. You gonna let things go down like this? I don't know what you want. I want the truth, Stephen. I don't know where she is. Let me ask you this. You, I truly believe you don't know where she is right now. Where was she yesterday? I don't know. Liar. That's right. You're lying. Why are you lying, Stephen? I'm not lying. Yes, you are lying. How long are you going to continue to do it? She's got a mother and a father and a family out there that is sick over everything. It, where's that little girl, Stephen? I don't know. Stephen, you know. Where? I don't know. Stephen. You're going to look at this right here, this little girl right here, and you're going to say you don't know? I know you know. I don't know. Yes, you know. What are you going to say tomorrow when I say we got your hair with the body? What are you going to say to me then? 
Cause you know, like I go like that. Look at my hair. That's how easy it falls out. Look at all that on your head. You don't think none fell out? It did. It did, Stephen. We just wanted to give you an opportunity to tell it. So you didn't look like a monster at the end. Because you know what? I don't believe that you're a monster, Stephen. I believe that you're a good guy. You've been picked on. Girls didn't show you the respect that you deserved. You did something stupid. And I believe you feel bad about it. And that's why you're all freaked out right now. But I'm giving you the opportunity to get right. I'm giving you an opportunity to show everybody you're not a monster. That you feel bad about what happened. Your hair is there, man. Your hair is there. We got your hair with the body. How is that, Stephen? I don't know. Yes, you do know. Yes, you do know, Stephen. That's right, buddy. See that? Look at it. See how easy? It happens. And it happened to you. Why, Stephen? I don't understand. Oh, you understand? You understand exactly what I'm saying. See this stuff right here? Your hair? Yeah, it fell out of your head when you was moving the body, Stephen. That's right. Do you remember moving the body? No. Yes, you do, Stephen. Why, man? What happened? Why? Tell me, bud. I didn't do it. Yes, you did, Stephen. Your head's with the body. Quit lying. We want you to, to tell it so that way people are understand you're not a monster. Things just, you got out of control. It's a sickness. Why'd you do it, Stephen? I didn't do it. Stephen, why are you going to keep telling that? You hurt that girl. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, Stephen. You hurt her, man. She was screaming. Screaming, Stephen. Why? And I know you feel bad about it. I can see it in your face. What came over you, man? What happened, Stephen? I don't know. I know you don't know. You can't you couldn't control it, could you? I didn't do it. Stephen! How long are we going to continue to do this? You did! Why is what I want to know. I didn't do it. Stephen, you hurt that girl, man. And you got on the news today. That's right. You know what? You weren't talking like this on the news, buddy. Yeah. You hurt this girl. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You hurt that girl. Why'd you hurt her, Stephen? You hurt that girl. Did you try to make her have sex with you? I didn't. Huh? Do that. Who did it? I don't. They know. got your hair. They steal your hair and take it over there. Stephen, they steal your hair. They didn't, did they? Did they, Stephen? 
That's right. It's all sinking in right now. He knows is what you're thinking. Steven, I don't want it to be a game between me and you. I know it hurts, and I know you're not an awful person, and you want to tell it. Your hair was there, Stephen. We've all known it all along. We wanted just to give you an opportunity to tell what happened. Did y'all have sex? No. Did you try to have sex? No. You think about having sex? No. Liar. What kind of man doesn't think about having sex? You said earlier you like girls, right? Yes. You said she's a pretty girl, right? Yes. What'd you do to her, Stephen? I didn't do anything. You're lying. You hurt that girl. No, I didn't. Sure it did, and that's why you're having this massive meltdown right now. Because you can't live with yourself, can you? It's overwhelming you, isn't it? Tell the truth, Stephen. I didn't do it. Who did it? I don't know. Yes, you do, Stephen. Why? Why did you hurt that girl? I didn't. Why did you hurt her, Steve? I didn't. You hurt that girl? No, I didn't. Sure you did. You know it, and I know it. You just don't want to tell it, Stephen. But that's okay. I know it. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to tell it so people didn't think you were a monster. You're not a monster, are you, Stephen? No. I, I know, buddy. I know you're not a monster. Tell me what happened. I don't know. You tried to have sex with her? No. She didn't want to have sex with you? I didn't do it. She didn't want to have sex with you, Steve? I don't know. You don't know if she wanted to have sex with you? I didn't do anything. Yes, you did, Steve. You went into her apartment, Steve. And you hurt that girl. No, I didn't. You did, buddy. You hurt her, Stephen. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Why won't you tell me, Stephen? I didn't do it. We'll take this from me. You don't deserve to look at it. Just stay right here, okay? Okay. I appreciate all your cooperation tonight, okay? Okay. discuss a few more things with you. You know, the reason why we're down here is because Lauren's missing, right? Yeah. I just need you to please tell me. Give me a, where you, I know earlier today you told me you stayed home all weekend, right? In your apartment. Yes. And, uh, did anybody see you? Did you talk to anybody over the weekend? Were you on your computer all weekend? Is there anything I can look at that I can say he couldn't be involved because he was 
on the computer or he was online on a porn site or he was online doing college work or anything that would exclude you as being involved all together. I mean, did anybody see you this weekend at the house? Did you go out to get a newspaper? Did you uh, wave to a neighbor or you just locked yourself in all week? Yes. Nobody saw you? No. I mean, what, do you just stay in the house all day? Yes. I mean, what do you do all day in the house? Play video games. By yourself? Yes. You never talk to anybody on the phone or anything? If they call me. Well, who calls you? Parents. I mean, you've always done that your whole life? You don't have no friends? I have How can friends. you go your whole life without a friend? I have friends. Where they at? Hmm? Where they at? You have any friends here in Macon? Yes. Name one, because everybody I talked to said they ain't your friend. Brian Granger, Cass Lawson, Ashley Morehouse, Carmen uh -huh. Love. That's the same people I talked to today, and they're not your friend. Okay? They're not your friend. It's all over anyways. I just wanted to know what was going on tonight. The game's over, I mean. We know what you did to her, so we just want to know what you, if you were gonna tell us or not. I didn't do anything. Well, that's what you say. But we know different, so you're fucked either way. We already know. And everybody out there, all your friends know that you're down here because of what happened to Lauren. So all those friends that you thought you had are not your friends anymore. Okay, there'll be no more video games. Alright. is the end. Is there anything you want to say? I didn't do anything. Well, that's what you say. That's what you say. And stick to your story. Because it's over. We're tired of talking to you. Okay. We know you killed her. We know you put her body in the trash can. And simple as that. News media knows it. Glenda knows it. Your mother. Your sister knows it. Your sister's husband knows it. The one that used to beat your sister. He knows it. You know what he said? He said he's a crazy motherfucker is what he said. When I called him. That's your own family calling you crazy. Your own family said you're crazy. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody's coming to visit you. So you can sit there with that dumb look on your face. But it's over. You enjoyed yourself and it's all over now. Okay. Anything you want to say? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Well, that's what you say. But I'm telling you, you did. Okay? Simple as that. You're not in charge. I am. I just took it away from you. That's one thing you can't change, brother. You can't change that. You are no longer in charge. Okay. You understand that? Yeah. Talk to 
Glenda. She's crying. She's supposed to be coming down here. I told them the whole story. And they told me what you used to tell them about your next door neighbor too. Yeah. What, what, you, you can't say nothing now? You're speechless? Hmm? Yeah, she should be here in a little bit. I promised her I'd let her see you and the kids. I don't know if she's bringing them all or not before you go on down. All right? Okay? I didn't do anything. Doesn't matter what you think you did. Doesn't matter, it's what I can prove. Okay? Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hmm? Promised her I'd let her see you. So I'm waiting on them to get down here. Alright? Okay? I'm taking Glenda's statement about what you used to tell her about your neighbor. About what you used to tell her about your guns and your knives and your sister's husband's coming because he said you're crazy. Your sister is married still, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. He used to beat her back in the day? I don't know. Huh? Well, you sit in here and think about it for a little bit, okay? Okay. Got plenty of time to think now, don't you? Hmm? Yep. Got plenty of time to think. You thought you were smarter than everybody else, but you're not. You're not. Sad thing about it is you probably could have made something with your life. But you chose a different route because one, you don't have a girlfriend, and two, you're never gonna get a girlfriend. I'm listening. I'm all ears. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't want you to say nothing. You're fucked either way. Do you understand that? I didn't do anything. That's what you, that's your side of the story. That's your side of the story. Both ways, brother. Works both ways. There ain't gonna be no more yelling. Ain't nobody gonna yell at you. They're gonna come in here and cry and kiss you goodbye. I'm gonna take their statement and it's all over. You do understand that, right? I didn't do anything. That's what you say. That's what you say. Because you haven't told us anything. Do you realize what I'm telling you? Hmm? Okay. Well, you sit there and think about it a little bit, okay? And I'll come back and check on you. You were smarter than everybody. But you fucked up. You fucked up. Somebody always leaves something in a crime scene. You fucked up.
looked it up. First, I didn't really believe you had anything to do with it. They said, man, it couldn't have been him. He used to work down in DA's office with us. He's a good guy. He used to help us out. Friendly guy and everything. Couldn't be him. He couldn't have done something like that. Well, we're through talking to you. Just waiting for them to come visit you. Are you through with your little show you've been putting on all day? Huh? Are you through? Hmm? You're not going to win. Too much evidence. Too much evidence. Appreciate you talking to me though. Just hang tight. Look, Linda will be down here in a minute. I'll usually take her to drive down the interstate. I don't know. Well, hang tight. Okay? Okay.